Hi friends, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button to also hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything and it sure helps the channel out. What we're doing today is we're doing a little fencing. You see here I have a temporary fence set down along this fence here to get into a field back there. And what happens is if it gets a little bit wet or a little bit too much moisture, I tear this up. And I, don't, I don't like it. Every time I get it planted back, we get a little bit of a rainfall event and I have to, to graze back in the back fields there. So what I'm gonna do, or what I'm doing is I'm gonna move permanent run up into the woods where I don't have to set this fence. I set this fence at least five times a year. It doesn't take long, it only takes five, ten minutes, but you know, times that by five, that adds up. What I'm doing is setting a permanent run that goes out into those that field down there. Ran out of regular treated posts, so I'm using telephone poles. Had a few extras laying around. I put an H brace here. And it's probably a little overkill for just two wires but at some point if I have extra posts I'll go ahead and put this in a six wire till then we're gonna run two wire with the cheap fence you can see here my sucker rod with the four inch fin tube insulator tied onto the post what I wanted to do today with you guys is there's this thing called a strainer knot for your high tensile fence. Honestly, I've never tied the, the strainer knot and I wanted to see how hard it really is. And I guess it's one of those things, it's a learning experience for me and possibly a learning experience for you. Go see exactly how hard it is. I have strainers I can put in a fence, but it, starting to run low on strainers and I really don't want to buy any so if I can get efficient tying the strainer knot I'm gonna do so. I only need actually two tools but I'm gonna probably use a third one just just to be safe. Small pair of bolt cutters to cut your high tensile fence, a fence tensioner, and a little bit of know-how and I'll also be using my my pliers to tighten a fence up on the fence tensioner to make sure it doesn't slip it has a tendency to want to slip on the wire just give it a go see what happens can't be that hard right number one is to cut the fence you need about a foot maybe a little over a foot end off of it What I read on tying this knot, you want to over tighten your fence by about an inch to two inches because it's going to release a little bit once you let the tension off of it. Okay, that's good and tight. What we do, bend this tag end over. You want it on the opposite side from you. Then you take this piece here, your other end, up through. Okay, we bent that piece down there. I'm gonna put a little bit of a kink in this wire. a crank handle in it. And just tie it off. Bend this end straight up and then put two more behind it. And then 
bend this to the 90 degrees, twist it, bust right off. Now what they usually do is they just butt break this wire off here, but I think it would be better if we brought this wire over top of that and tied it off. Give it about three. Twist your crank handle 90 degrees. Bust right off. Okay, let's see how we did. Pretty tight. Wow, that actually worked. Let's give it another go. Whatever your tension in your wires, you need to start at the bottom. You want to start on your bottom wire and work your way up. Okay, you need to over tighten your fence by a couple inches. Cut our fence nice and tight. Bend this wire over. Want that behind. Tailpiece down through. Put a little bit of a kink in it. Put a crank handle on it. Tighten it up, three turns. Bend this up at a 90 degree. Tighten it, put three more turns in it. Take your crank handle, put a 90 degree bend in it. And just twist it off. Fold this one down, put a crank handle in it, put three turns on it, We'll see if the second one worked. Well friends, that was pretty easy. It's good to expand your education. You never know when you're gonna need things, need to know to do, need to know how to do things like this. And besides, just by tying them two knots in there, just from tying those two knots in there, saved me $7. I guess you could put a gripple in there, but those cost a dollar, dollar a piece. But there's lots of, lots of tension in it. So, strainer knot works easy to tie and you don't have to deal with them stupid ratchets okay friends just a short video for you it's pretty neat for us to learn together this is the second second strainer knot I've tied in my life this in here being the first so we can learn new things and it's easy besides it saved me seven dollars because I didn't have to buy two ratchets or, or strainers for in the fence line Worked extremely well. We'll see how it holds up. Okay, signing off. 
see you later have a good one don't forget to subscribe comment like and share the videos our channel could really use the support